what separated him this year is he's able to go out and collect his own offense. You know, he's been able to scramble, stayed out of a few really nice shots, but when he went after his all offense, that made the difference in that one. A number one ranked undefeated Ohio State Buckeye at 197. Colin Moore going up against Anthony Kassar. Anthony Kassar from Rocky Hill, New Jersey, Montgomery High School, stepping in at 197 against the undefeated. Number one ranked Colin Moore out of Burbank, Ohio, Norway High School. Penn State, for the first time tonight, goes ahead. 16-15. Ohio State definitely favored in the last two matches. Colin Moore, boy, what a season he's had going undefeated on the year. His attack rate is probably double of anybody else in the country here. This weight. But a lot of stuff that he can do. And Kassar, I've been impressed with him as well. I mean, he, he's a, we haven't seen much of him because Shakur Rashid was, has been the guy uh, really kind of since the uh, Southern scuffle where he was able to pin his way, get like, several pins, but you know, I think they felt a little more comfortable with Kassar out there. From a matchup style. Yeah. Opportunity. They have not made up their mind, obviously, at 197 for the postseason. Penn State, Kassar, and Shakur, Your hand, Rashid. Matt McCutcheon was in that. He got hurt. What a... Uh, a decision for Penn State with three solid 197 pounds. Yeah, three solid choices right there. McCutcheon was in street clothes today during their practice that they had, so it uh, doesn't look like he was quite ready to go. Kassar and uh, Shakur Rashid. I mean, Shakur Rashid has been the guy that's been got grip. really exciting got to grip. watch. I mean, he's pinning guys in under a minute here with that cradle that he has, and Kassar a little bit more basic. And a nice left-handed high crotch. Come on, guys, get your hands up. Let's go work out of these. Colin Moore. He didn't give up a point as a senior in high school. Big Ten champ as a freshman, obviously the freshman of the year for the Big Ten, and third at the NCAAs. He's Norway High School's first ever state champion. Yeah, these guys are, are having a difficult time at this time. Nice little counter shot by Kassar. Wow, no he's got here. an opportunity to go ahead and no follow it up. Nice job of squaring up there by Moore. Great press presenting himself by Colin Moore. He's, he's, you know, so, both are so strong. Tim, so many guys at the edge of the mat, they just try to get off the mat, right? That, that, that line right there, it just it affects the psyche. And what Moore did right there is he basically tried to uh, you know, wrestle like he's in the middle of the mat. Did they warn? They warned Kassar for, for going off the mat. Yeah. Backing off the mat. So that's a warning. Which is pretty interesting because given the, the action was his shot. Right. They got him to that point. Kassar standing in there against the number one ranked undefeated Moore and it's 0-0 after the first period. Almost. Let's go to Shane who's with Bo. Bo, big win against Miles Martin. I think it's the best rivalry in college wrestling. Your thoughts on the match and, and that relationship you guys have inside that circle. Yeah, I think, you know, the match, match went, went well. It's a great crowd out here. Um, I just... I'm super thankful, feel blessed by God to be able to go out there and compete and you know, use that platform that he, he gave me to you know, share him with everybody. What was your approach going to this match and where do you think it was won for you? you know, just having fun, I feel like I'm, I'm better in every position so I need to just go out there and wrestle and wrestle for seven minutes and I felt like I did that. I'm glad I could get some bonus points for my team. Congratulations, nice job. Thanks. Bonus points came with time running out. Got the two count on the for the near fall. Oh, 
Oh, nice job there with a little misdirection there. He sits him down to his rear. That's one of the few times you're going to see Colin wow. Moore get taken down. Wow. Improved. Really impressive. Improved. Anthony Kassar with the takedown. He's got a nice left-handed shot right there and a pretty solid finish. They're both lefties. It's interesting. So green control. Improved like either one. Get him off. Get him off. Kassar doesn't feel like he wanted to uh, stay with him that much. They thought, I thought... He thought that the uh, fingers of Colin Moore is grabbing his fingers. Now you're going to get to see the offense of Moore. And he gets, he has shown that he just gets better as the match goes on. So this will be a good opportunity to see how Kassar responds to that you motor know, of Moore's. Yeah, and but Tim, this is a different environment now. You know, you've had to watch eight matches, right? And it's 85 degree face. heated here. And it's face. just... You know, both these guys, you know, the enthusiasm, the, the hype of the meet, sometimes you don't get the same performances that you'd see out of, in a first round of a tournament, you know, where these guys would be moving their feet a little bit more. This match is definitely slowed down to what these guys are capable of doing. All right, all of a sudden, we go into the third period. Penn State hanging on to a bit of hope here. Hey, a big, big matchup up here with the heavily yeah, favored Moore. It's two to two, well, hey. no riding time. Right? And Kassar has get the on. opportunity underneath and Moore will give get him on. the optional uh, and give him the uh, takedown or the uh, escape. So it's Kassar right. out front three to two. Right there again, a little, little snap down and trying to capture that left ankle again. He's hit that about three times and he's been successful with it once. And I think you gotta keep on going to it till he certainly kept uh, more off balance. Two 97 pounders with heavy body type, strong and physical. Wow. Right there, just a good straight on shot by Moore. Kassar was hurt last year, didn't get the get opportunity to get in the lineup, and so he's showing yeah, he, what he can do. Yeah, he's working really well off that left-handed underhook off the straight-on shot of Moore. Wow. This is good. Moore, you know Moore's going to come. He's, he's going to go ahead and go hard. Not much of a setup there. He pays for it. Two points for Kassar. 54 seconds left. Kassar certainly looks like the more Starting active one. Now remember, he, he's been one for stalling. So he's got to be able to come up around the, above the waist. And the referee's saying that he is. He's got the far wrist, and this is a time hog right here. Wow. Just staying in great position there, edge of the mat. Now we got a stillmate. Now we don't. That's an unusual... Uh, And the referee blew it with the whistle. And I don't understand why he did, because it, it's up to the bottom end to try to get out of that position. Yeah, a little bit surprised by that. It's yeah. a big call. It's a big call to give a guy a, new, a fresh start in the bound, bound position. Now he's got an opportunity to talk to Tom Ryan. And Kassar is doing a little cheerleading. He's got the crowd behind him. He's getting his final instructions from Kale. Let's go, you this duel has lived up to the hype, Woo! no doubt about it. And we knew something big would have to happen for Penn State to stay in this thing, and right now it's close to something happening that was unexpected. When I talked to Tom Ryan, he talked about the matches at 141 and 197. Well, one, you take a look at the good job he's doing, controlling the hips right now. It's good, strong right-handed underhook. And this will be as loud as the crowd gets all day. Driving through the hips. He can stay down and take that. He drives up. He will not. He does get a warning. It's one. One point. It's five to three, Kassar. But he also has three. riding time. Right. Yeah. Big win. Big win. Penn State's got some decisions at 197.